In Barbados, we grew up learning about a share pot mentality. In other words, we take care of each other. You got food today, you share with me. You ain't got food tomorrow, I share with you. The whole question of people working and seeing each other in communities, that's still good. But we need to go further. Because what we recognize are that there are some things that are holding us back at the individual level. Voices of accountability, we need to be accountable and we need to take responsibility for what we say and do. And we need to be able to speak up when we see things wrong and we need to recognize that we can do things differently but we must speak up and be accountable. Guardians of cleanliness, why? Because if our environment is clean, it starts to start a whole process that from our mind to our body to our environment, cleanliness then becomes a standard by which we start to guide ourselves. That we should be agents of respect. We use the word all the time among our respect Jew. But are we really agents of respect when we disrespect each other? When we turn up, even if when somebody has wronged us, and we turn up at a school, do we have to block in order to communicate the message? Do we have to treat each other with disrespect, which then leads invariably to conflict? And it gives us no pleasure that Latin America and the Caribbean occupy virtually every spot in the top 10 countries in the world with the highest per capita homicide rate. There is no formal theater of war in this hemisphere. But the scale of death from crime is unacceptable in almost every corner of the Americas. And it is largely because we have been paying a very heavy price in some countries for Second Amendment rights, in other countries for the right to bear arms. And regrettably, technology has so evolved that those arms, when born, can be disproportionate in its impact particularly when used in conflict. 